hi, coordinators. This is um, Susan, the consultant for the Northwest region. And I'm here with Angie, the consultant for the Southeast region. Say hi, Angie. Hello, everybody. Um, and what we wanted to do is just take a few minutes today to kind of give you a preview or walk you through the big ideas um, that you'll be coming up against in module 1.3. And um, what we know is that you might be experiencing a little bit of Moodle fatigue here um, in the springtime. So we want to give you just a few recommendations to if if you or some of your team members have um, sort of fallen behind in the course, what we would suggest is as we start this module 1.3, um, here you can see the dates at the at the end of April, April 24th is that, um, if you've fallen behind, have everyone start module 1.3 together um, and, and finish out that content strong. And then you can have a chance to go back and pick up any of the content that you've missed or that you maybe need to go back through a little bit uh, more thoroughly. What we hope you'll see in module 1.3 is a chance to take a lot of big, broad ideas and um, put them together through the context of some actual district and school examples. Um, and this will be sort of your last set of organized uh, week by week coursework um, before we get into module four and then, or 1.4, excuse me, and then we'll see you for um, a whole module one follow up in July. So when you get into module 1.3 here in a few days, um, what you'll see is we've started with the top down topic web that you've seen at the beginning of each of our sub modules. And then um, a general overview of what you'll see during 1.3. So we'll have you'll kind of read that and get started. And then we have our learning goals for module 1.3. So the big things we'll be focused on in 1.3 is taking a look at um, problem solving processes and cycles and really focusing in on what does that look like for problem identification. Um, and then how do we really develop a hypothesis and use that to drive a plan implementation um, and then a plan evaluation. So you can see under our introduction to this section, the first two weeks of um, module 1.3, which will begin um, April 24th is when that'll open up for you, is that we'll have an introduction just to some different problem solving models and processes, um, which you've heard talk through so far. Um, in our cohort is that we we want to give you access to lots of different ones to choose from. So we would recommend that you adopt a problem solving model or process, but we don't say which one. Um, so here's a chance to read about lots of different ones of them so you can make an um, informed decision about which one. So you can see um, in the first two weeks, if we click in here, We'll have a chance to do things um, like you've been doing before, like read, view videos, uh, and read some articles around different problem solving processes. Um, and we'll have a chance for you to do some interaction with that work and have resources that are uh, embedded in the Moodle and then also that will be in your resource folders. So that's just a little glimpse of what that will look like. And then you'll have a chance to interact with um, a Padlet, and you've, you've done this several times to have an individual chance to um, interact and give your thoughts. And what you can see here is you'll be adding to thoughts that are already there from our participants from cohort one. So you'll have a chance to do that in those first two weeks. The next two weeks of 1.3, we'll jump into a cycle that you'll see repeated throughout 1.3, which is taking a problem solving framework and applying it to um, a district team's perspective around reading, mathematics, and behavior. So the first two weeks we'll start, you can see through a reading or a literacy example. Um, we'll be focusing on the problem identification step of the process. And if we click into that first um, part of week 16 and 17, what you're going to see is um, how this will repeat. So we'll set the stage with sort of a little story or framework. And then what we'll show you is actually how the problem process, problem solving process works through a same set of um, resources, 
around different areas. So you'll see that setting the stage every time. You'll have access to the same resources. And then we'll sort of go through what the team actually did and these examples to work through the problem solving a process. You'll get to kind of see the good, bad, and the ugly here. Um, you'll see the things that teams did that worked well, the things that they did that did not go so well the first time, and any sort of um, steps they needed to take to sort of rethink their any of their decisions. As we take a look back to the main page here, um, the example we, we worked through is a, an elementary example in literacy, but then there's also during those two weeks a secondary literacy example. And as we get here towards um, what will be the end of May and the beginning of June, you'll work through um, a mathematics example. So again, it'll be all the steps of the problem solving process with the same set of resources, but we'll be focusing in uh, more on the problem analysis step here. So just to show you what it'll look like. We'll have the same setting the stage and beginning to tell the story and you'll have access and linked to the same set of resources. Again, this is so you'll you and your team can focus on utilizing those resources um, if they work for your team in your own problem solving. And then we have one final example that'll be um, this is sort of your your reward for getting to the end of the school year. You can see here that will be the two weeks that you're sort of in the school year. So you can um, think about problem solving through a behavior example, because I'm sure there'll be lots of behaviors happening in schools then. Um, so that will be the same set steps there that we'll work through. We'll have we'll set the stage and have our same set of tools. But what you'll get to see is um, the focus on a behavior example and sort of putting it all together. Um, here you'll also have a chance to take a little quiz that'll that'll summarize our information. And what I hope that you'll be able to see through each of these examples is that um, you'll be able to begin to see a true MTSS. So you'll see um, teams problem solving an academic concern alongside behavior concerns, or they'll problem solve behavior concerns and also consider academics at the same time. So modeling that, what that'll look like to really uh, problem solve both sets of data together. And then the final thing um, that you'll do in 1.3 is have your district team meeting. And Angie's gonna talk a little bit about what that'll look like. Um, if she's still with us, you still there, Angie? I'm still here, Susan. So if you'll click on that um, page, we can pull up um, one of the activities that we're going to ask you to complete at when your team gets together. Um, before we get into that, I'm going to remind you that um, we urge you to continue to encourage your team members to bring their notes from their reflection journal or any sort of note-taking device that they are using as they go through the content. Um, each of these portions you've seen have a, a suggested agenda that we'd like for you to consider as you get your team together. And on that agenda, um, we suggest that you begin each meeting by debriefing on the content. So if you have those reflection journals available or any notes that you've taken while you're together with your team, I think that helps to facilitate that conversation. So um, in this particular instance, we would have you debrief on the content as the agenda implies, and then we are going to ask you to complete an activity based on the content. And this is something you've done in the previous two sections, so no big surprise there. Um, Susan's pulled up a description of the activity that we would like for you to complete, and you will notice that at this point we're asking you as a team to go through a problem-solving cycle um, that will mimic the three case studies that you have gone through in the last six weeks. So hopefully we've prepared you enough through those examples so that when you do get together as a district um, MTSS team that you feel more prepared um, to do this as a team. So um, as you look at the screen here, what we're asking you to do is to, um, before you get together, um, take a look at those general questions for core problem solving that we saw um, throughout the Moodle uh, or the module and 
consider some questions that are going to need to be asked or sort of should be brewing as you get together. And when you get together or even beforehand, you can certainly identify an area that you want to focus on as a team to problem solve. So um, it may be helpful to identify a more narrow focus. So you could determine whether you want to examine behavior, math, or reading. And if you want to do a grade level or grade span or concentrate on that for the problem solving. So it's going to be helpful if you've narrowed down um, that content or behavior area and the grade level and span that you're going to focus on as a team to problem solve. And certainly we've talked previously about the importance of establishing roles of your for your team members as you go through this problem solving cycle. Um, we are going to assume that you are the facilitator for this group. And so you've, you've read and viewed the facilitator's problem solving questions within the context of the examples. So we're going to ask that you now apply that and you use those questions as you guide your team through those problem solving steps that you see listed below in this example on the screen. And again, this will just directly mimic the examples. We're going to ask you guys to use the resources that you viewed and apply them to your own situation so that you guys as a team can become more fluent in the use of those materials and um, go through and identify the problem and analyze the problem. Certainly we know that often in order to confirm your hypothesis and come to a more precise problem statement that you might need to stop the meeting um, review, interview, observe, and test to determine if your hypothesis is correct. So if that's the case, what we see here may need to take place over um, a series of meetings or two meetings um, at least. So that might be something you want to be prepared for as a coordinator that you might need to schedule an additional district MTSS team meeting so that you can come back and complete steps um, six through eight. And you have all of that described for you on this page of the Moodle. But we thought that it would be uh, a great way to apply what it is that you all have read and viewed individually as you come together. And then the team um, activity on the Moodle would be to post reflections on how this process went, how this problem solving cycle occurred with your team, and any reflections on um, that were unique to you guys. So that would be the uh, activity that we're asking you to complete as a district MTSS team. And um, certainly this is something that hopefully you're getting into the rhythm of doing because for each, uh, at the end of each section of the course at this point, we've asked you to come together as a team and complete an activity so that we're able to interact with the other district MTSS teams in your cohort. So that's would I think that's a great way to sort of polish off this last um, organized section of module one. And um, hopefully this walkthrough of module 1.3 has been helpful. Um, we certainly uh, recognize the position you are in as a district coordinator. We understand that you are the cheerleader for your team and we hope you continue to motivate your team and encourage them to um, hang in there with us with the course content. And please, if you have any questions or concerns about your team's progress or any particular issues you might be facing as you go through and you complete the content, don't hesitate to reach out to your uh, regional MTSS consultant. Uh, so Susan, I think that that pretty much covers our 1.3 preview. And I really appreciate your Absolutely. assistance. I think you did a beautiful job walking us through it. And um, again, if you have any further questions, don't please don't hesitate to, to reach out to um, your regional MTSS consultant. And thank you so much, Susan, for your help today. Have a great day, guys.